<laughs> Look at that. Truck's getting a little bit of rust on it. It simply means I use it. I use it for diving. I use it for, uh, use it around the farm. It's kind of like this dive gear here. Uh, it gets used a lot. There's always gonna come a point in time though when you've actually got to take your dive gear and throw it away. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Well, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about upgrading your gear and knowing when it's time to actually get rid of your gear and to throw it away. Now I know dive gear can be expensive. It's a pretty large investment that a lot of people make, myself included. Just because I own a dive shop doesn't mean I get free gear all the time. I still have to purchase gear, but I also understand that there's going to come a time when I've got to get rid of that gear and make my next purchase. Now in my line of work, I do a lot of commercial diving, public safety diving, salvage diving. I teach scuba. So there's a lot of times I have to upgrade my equipment even when I don't want to, such as my teaching gear, I typically upgrade it once a year, if not once every two years, just so that I've got the newest gear on the market. My students can see that. My salvage and public safety gear, regretfully, I upgrade it quite regularly. And it might be every six months, it might be every three months, it might be every month, or it might be every dive. Yes, I throw away dry suits, I throw away full face masks, I throw away some of the most expensive gear after a single dive use. And I kinda wanna explain why I do that. And I wanna show you how to get a better investment out of your gear, but at the same time to make sure you're upgrading gear when you need to. So a lot of times for me, if I'm making some extremely hazmatic dives, you know, I dive in sewer systems, I dive in places that nobody can even fathom diving in and a lot of times when i charge for those jobs or those dives that i'm making i make sure that i add in the price to replace a dry suit the price to replace a full face mask anything that's going to get damaged or get contaminated to the point that i don't want to mess with it anymore then i simply chunk it and i take the money that i charge for that job and of course i go out and i purchase new now sometimes this is not always practical to do such as a dry suit itself i try my best not to just junk dry suits and throw them away because it does take a while to get new dry suits produced and of course sent to me when i purchase them and most custom dry suits are going to take anywhere from four to eight to even 16 weeks to receive them so i always want to make sure that i have a backup suit to wear in the process but yes i i've thrown dry suits away i've thrown full face mask away i've literally come out of a sewer system didn't feel like decomming it threw it away went out and purchased new that one's a little bit different because i keep full face mask in stock but sometimes we have to do that well what if you're not in that commercial situation what if you are just a diver like you how do you know when it's going to be time to replace your gear well there's several things to think about number one you just want to upgrade. It's okay. A lot of people want to upgrade when the latest and the greatest comes out. They've got to have it. One of our instructors have more dive computers than I'll ever have in my lifetime. It's because he buys a new dive computer about every six months. And he buys them from all different manufacturers. This is a new straight out on the market. He's got to run out and get it. So he does. A lot of times people will upgrade simply because they change size. Maybe they lost weight. Maybe they gain weight. Whatever it may be, they have to tend to get bigger or smaller suits depending on whether they gain or lose weight and so they'll go out and they'll upgrade maybe they damage their equipment if they damage their equipment beyond repair maybe you've ripped the zipper out of a wetsuit yeah, you're probably just going to go buy a new wetsuit in that situation so there's several different reasons and then of course the big one a lot of times people get so caught up on their equipment that they can't part ways even when the manufacturer starts or stops making parts for that. I personally have several regulators just laying around the house that I can no longer get parts from. It's the stuff that I dove back in the 80s and 90s, and I just don't want to get rid of it because it's part of my heritage. It's part of what I grew up diving. But of course, I don't use it anymore. So situations like that, you're just going to have to upgrade your gear. It's just a part of it. So how do you know that your equipment's going to last, that you're going to be able to use it for a very long time, and that there's always going to be parts to service it? Well, don't buy used. I know we're kind of hurting right now in our economy, but 
you can still afford new equipment that's still new on the market and that's going to last you 5, 10, maybe even 15 years before parts are, are sunsetted or before they quit making parts for it. So always make sure that you are purchasing new. Go by your local retail center. It doesn't have to be Lake Hickory Scuba. Go by your local dive center, see what equipment they've got and ask questions before you buy. Don't just let the salesman there say, this is the regulator you got to have because it's new. Well, ask them, how new is it? Has it been out one, two, three, four years? You know, a lot of manufacturers after about two years, they'll update and they may even discontinue an item. Doesn't mean they're gonna discontinue the parts for it. Just means they're gonna discontinue the item and come out with something new. It usually takes about two years to get good reviews out on the market of a product. So if it's within a two year time frame, it's still considered a new product and you're still gonna get a good investment out of it. But guys, don't be afraid to throw away your equipment when it comes time or, you know, store it. Just stop using it, whatever it takes make sure that you're being safe that you're using gear that can be serviced that has great value to you and of course it's just going to keep you safe when you're underwater guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up definitely share it do me a favor down in the comment section below let me know what your current setup is what gear are you using how long have you been using it and if you're like me and you do have a lot of vintage gear and are still using it let me know down below how you're getting it serviced where you're getting the service because trust me i've got a ton of vintage gear that i would love to get serviced and even if i got to send it off to another technician i'll be happy to do that as well because i really hope you enjoyed the video i'm going to go ahead and sign off today take care god bless and i'll see you in the next video